Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a video inside text animation easily with the new Essential Graphics panel in Adobe Premiere Pro. So before we begin this video, make sure to leave a like on it below, subscribe to the channel if you're not yet so you don't miss any of my new videos, and go follow me on Instagram at Justin Odisho to stay tuned with me. So this is what I'm working with on the timeline. I've got a couple clips laid out, but let's start from scratch. I'll just leave the music track on there as an example for something you could animate and sync to. So there's many different approaches you could take to building this and you can figure out what's comfortable for you. But first, let me just stack together the video clips that I wanna use. So I've got this runner, I've got this shoelace tying, and I've got this walking the dog clip. Now we wanna create our text overlay on top. So I'm gonna to go to my toolbar and grab the text tool. This is new to the update in Premiere Pro. It's the essential graphics tool that I can just click and start creating text and graphics right on top of the program window. So I'll type out run in this example. That's just my three letter example. And you can pick whatever font size and positioning that you want. Aside from being able to adjust it in the effects control panel, you can go to window and open the essential graphics panel and it might pop out, but you can drag and put it into whatever sidebar or browser you want. So I'll keep it on the right hand side here. And in this menu, you can center it, align it and increase the size to be as big as you want. In this case, I'll fill out pretty much the whole screen and I'll give it a little bit more of that centered look. Now, the next thing we have to do in order to get this to work is create a black backdrop. And in the old legacy title tool, there was an option for that. But in this new essential graphics panel, one way that you can do that is go to graphics, new layer, and just create a new rectangle. And then you can just make the rectangle really large until it fills up the whole screen. So I'll make it pretty big here and center it. And we filled up the whole screen, but you want to make sure you drag the text layer above the shape layer. So now we just have a white on black graphic composition. Now, if I set this to multiply, so go to the blending modes in the effects control panel under the opacity tab and set it to multiply. What happens is black pretty much burns in and overpowers everything else. Black is just going to be black and white basically disappears, revealing everything that's underneath. So this is kind of a workaround instead of actually having to key and mask things out. It gives you the same appearance and it's very simple to do. Now all we have left to do is mask out the text and later we can create some animation as well. So there's many ways you could approach this as well. You could highlight each layer. You could adjust the positioning if that works. So for example, for straight letters like N, I could just move the positioning over. However, we're not really capturing the interesting part of the clip in that case. So another thing you can do is move it to the interesting portion of the clip. You could even play around with the scale because you don't need the whole entire clip. And then just grab your opacity tools. I'll grab the pen and cut out the exact portion that you want to be filled in. So there we go. We've got the N. Now for the shoelace portion, I'll do the same thing. I'll play around with the positioning. Where do I want it? Adjust the scale to be lower if I want things to be more visible. And then I'll grab my pen tool and I'll just make sure that it doesn't cut into the next letter and we'll be good there. And then we don't even have to do anything on the last one if we don't want just because of the way that these layers are stacked on top of each other, it just kind of works. And you can see here, you could also just do this with one video. It would look cool as well. But now that I've got three different videos, now that I play, all of them are playing at the same time. It's got an interesting message and playback. But if you also want to take it one step further and animate the letters one by one, there's a cool new way to do that in the essential graphics panel. That's pretty simple. Find the object named text in your effects control panel. You can highlight it and turn on keyframes for source text. This will allow you to animate with keyframes anytime you make a change in the text. So for example, on this music track, on the before the first beat, I could just make sure there's no text on the screen and you can see that place is a keyframe and then I can move over to the first beat and then place the letter R. So make sure you're working in the program window for all these so you can see and have these tools open. And then I could move over to the next beat. I could then add the next letter. And then finally on the last note switch where I want to sync it, I could add the final letter. So this will work to give you that typewriter one letter at a time effect because these keyframes can't really move in a linear way. It's just change by change. So when I play that back, you see we have the R 
and then it plays right to the U on that keyframe, and then right to the N, and as long as you have enough video clip underneath, they'll all keep playing. And it's an interesting effect to play around with, and you can create lots of different projects with it, play around with just one video or multiple videos inside each letter. But that's just one easy approach that you can take to create this multiple video inside text with the new Essential Graphics in Adobe Premiere Pro. If you guys enjoyed this video, then make sure you leave a like on it below and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my new future videos. You can follow me on Instagram at JustinOdisho if you want to stay tuned with me, live streams, behind the scenes, and more. And once again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.